Lenny Ross was a whiz kid quiz show contestant as a child in the 1950s who later became an advisor to Jerry Brown and held several academic positions all the while gradually going crazier and crazier and crazier. This poem unfolds in seven voices. Every other uh, stanza is Lenny's voice and then other voices are thrown in there as well. The Death Song of Lenny Ross. Dow's theory analyzes market action, fundamentals deal in corporate prospects. When stocks are good, T-bills suffer, and when the market shakes his head and shoulders, it's getting ready to reverse direction. What a boy you are, Lenny Ross, Lenny Ross. What a genius boy you are. And why not you, Lenny? Why not you to win the 100,000 answering quiz show questions on stocks and bonds and whatever? Why not you, the youngest? At five, you talked like Walter Lippmann. At six, you built a TV by yourself. What a boy you are, Lenny. What a genius boy you are. Our tort system from English common law changes many features of that older land. The principle is the same, that assets yield to no man, save one who has them. Eschewing class, we're guided by associations, men maintaining liberty by joining others openly, as Tocqueville described it, recalling Edmund Burke. He grasps all aspects of the reading, wrestling levels none of us had thought about. As we sat silent, listening to his playfulness with concepts none of us had heard before, and yet so kind he was to all of us, his elders, so patient telling us his thoughts. What a mind he had, that Lenny Ross, and what a knowledge of the law. I had the talks, an academic side man. I know that's what they think of me. Great idea, Lenny. What a brain. I want to be a man of action, commanding heads of state. I want to run for president one day. I have a master plan. It's all up here. Slow down, Lenny Ross. Finish one thing. I told him that a thousand times at least, then watched him stagger back and forth among his shriveled plants and dusty chairs, popping frozen peas at open mouth and throwing out ideas like cannon shot. And it was up to me to understand that he had skipped ahead to chapter five. Slow down, Lenny. I can't keep up but he persisted with a logic of his own. Here's the plan. We'll write a treatise on the rights of students, and with the money earned, we'll buy these artists, fieldists, Moore, and Greaves, minor works by minor painters, but by lending them to small museums, their values will inflate, and then we sell and start a franchise. I knew his reputation, fired from Harvard, bewildered students, uncompleted books. But those first flowing days in Sacramento, those synergistic days, we watched him use a roll of tape and scissors to cut and splice my program, the spaceship Earth, the New Age economics, the art of Zen applied to government. It was all there. If things had turned out differently, Lenny Ross, he would have been my commerce secretary. A six-month freeze on wages without a freeze on prices, followed by a year of frozen subsidies, after which we sent a thousand troops to Spain as warning to the sheiks to drop the price of oil. I'll send the president a memorandum when I've wrapped my piece on Masons. It's full of great ideas. Don't call me anymore, Lenny Ross. I've had about enough of you and your constant chatter leading nowhere. You can't keep quiet long enough to love me. You touch my thigh, then start to babble economics, then write a sentence down, then phone a friend. Remember I'm in bed and ask me what I think of Bergman's latest flick. I can't take it anymore, Lenny Ross. Genius shit. Just get it up and keep it up for once. 
a thermal coupler made of fiberglass, kabuki language representing social graces, venture funds investing in technology. In five years' time, the baby boomers will. Stondahl's real name was Juan Gris merely described what he saw mills replacing windmills along the Flemish. You're back home, Lenny, and we'll take care of you. No more taking jobs and quitting three months later. No more lying under cars reciting lectures. You'll rest a while, Lenny, and then you'll see. You'll land a cushy job. Theory of added value, William Cullen, Randolph, the red-nosed option, underlying Tinto, Ram, Das, Vidanya, Montana, the Puritan migraine persecution of the Cotton Mather, tell Jerry my name is Jiminy Carter, Wilson, Pickett, the symbol of an angry zero coupon to beat the plowshares into a Zaya Berlin. My voice now, Lenny. My voice, calm. First time in years, looking through the water of the Capri Motel pool, hearing waves applaud with plastic hands, smelling chlorine smoke, tasting acrid starlight fruit. Jump, Lenny Ross. Remove this yoke of expectation. Jump, Lenny. Jump to freedom.